Thank you, room. I'll be right back for you. Good morning, good morning. It is day 355 of From Here to Jerusalem. I am in the community center here. I have everything that's important, I do. And I slept here last night above the disco. <laughs> and now <coughs> I'm gonna go for coffee. Because uh, it's time for coffee. I need a cup of coffee after that. Uh, I do have to start doing some work on my neck. Because I think I, I don't know if I've got a real problem or whether it just is what it is. Okay, now here is uh, Ishka coffee. Coffee was nice and uh, packed up, but I don't know how I managed to get everything into the bag and I still feel there's too much. Ha! Huh. Anyway, got it all in. I waited a little bit for the ladies to come back, but uh, I wanted to leave before nine because uh, I've got 23 kilometers to do. Good morning, doggo. Yeah. And uh, uh, the route isn't entirely clear, so I have to climb 500 meters, so I gotta get up there. So, walking from West Cork to Jerusalem with a harp on your back. Shani the harp is here, Jerry the stick is here, my good self. First stop, Bukovo. Uh, bit of climbing, like I said, uh, will take me the morning, I'd say, because it's pretty steep. The weather should hold, it's a little bit windy. Uh, didn't sleep very well, but you know what? Body was resting, was lying down. Uh, it should all be good. I'm looking forward to this now. I'm looking forward to the walk. So, uh, Iska is one of those towns, there is no employment. So everything is a little bit, you no. Know, uh, that people, people struggle, basically. Uh, they, they try. Everybody has a, a kind of a job, but there is no money to do things. So they have a job. They get paid very low wages. And uh, there isn't a lot of technology. <sighs> tough, tough old situation, like. But beautiful. Oh my God, like the old part of the town, all the old farmhouses. Really, really beautiful. Oh, okay, now I better keep my eye on the road because at some stage I'll have to turn. And uh, yeah, like I said, I'm gonna enjoy this. I'm coming off the tarmac now again to go up that hill and we'll take it from there. Whew. God, that bag is always so heavy. Sean, or have you been putting on weight like? Uh, we'll talk to you later. <laughs>
these are wild tulips. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wild tulips. Wild tulips. I've never seen wild tulips. This is like incredible. So this is the perfect place to go have breakfast. That's what I'm going to do. Put sunscreen on and then I'm going to go on. Oh my god. Like, oh my god. Um, Lina was saying to me that originally um, the tulips come from Bulgaria and I was like, but I, and I was thinking like, yeah, but weren't they coming from the Great Plains of Turkey? Here they are. What can I say? Oh my God. And they are, they are pretty the same and pretty different to, um, to the tulips that we are accustomed to. They are divine. They have like a... I was thinking, oh, maybe orchid, but it's definitely not an orchid. They're tulips. Oh my God. Ah, this is amazing. That's just incredible. I'm so happy now. Oh, uh, this day cannot, cannot go wrong. Huh. Ah, they're not wild tulips. They're not wild tulips. They're, um, they're irises. They're tiny though. They're beautiful. They could have been tulips. Oh, there is me again, not knowing something. Still a good place to have uh, breakfast. I have a uh, salami and uh, crackers and bread. That should get me over that hill. Okay, I'm gonna enjoy my irises. <laughs>
Uh-oh. How do I get across? Okay, let me go try this. <laughs> there. There. That looks better. Hang on. Okay. Wish me luck. So this is for the end of uh, yesterday's video. Um, I got stuck. I, I knew everything better, of course, again, and I got stuck at uh, this tiny stream that was supposed, I was supposed on the map to be able to cross it. And I end up there and it is like fast streaming, swollen. And I was just thinking as I was going down, like, oh, I don't think it has rained much in the past few days. Well, the river was saying something else. Upstream, it definitely did rain and quite a lot. So um, I looked at it and I, I tried everything. Like I actually used up a lot of my energy trying to find a way to cross it. Uh, I thought I could wade. I could wade in stages. I tried to climb over this this tree that had fallen over the stream and all of it I wasn't brave enough like it, it could be done but it needed a lot more time and I just heard that I had a pet <sighs> in Mineral Bani. Bani so I decided to walk back and I walked over the road and I arrived here at seven o'clock yesterday evening so that meant that I'd been on the road yesterday for 10 hours for like 25 kilometers and uh, that's really slow but it was a beautiful day. I had such a wonderful day. I was so happy. Um, and then I arrived here and the people here were so nice. Like, um, so I'm in this resort hotel, this one, and uh, they gave me this room and they gave me food. They, f they fed me loads of salad and, filled uh filled mince uh, mince meat like um like a, a mince loaf filled with eggs and so lots of I, it was just it actually makes me cry when i think about it because the two nights before that of course they were pretty pilgrim yeah and uh, somebody asked me this morning i got a question you know what do i expect of pilgrim accommodation because some people take offense that I ask for help. 
uh, <laughs> I don't expect anything like uh, pilgrim accommodation to me is shelter, which means that you're safe, that you don't have to sleep with one hand on um, on your passport, basically. Um, for a pilgrim, all they really need is to be in a safe space so they can rest because their bodies take uh, quite a beating. So, you know, I slept in a graveyard. Don't people enter a graveyard at night, so I was safe there. Uh, the night after that, I slept in a community center. No warm water, cold water, no bed. Uh, but that's all fine because it was a safe space. Um, and then last night I end up with a bed and a shower and a toilet and it's really, really amazing. It's really, really amazing. Now I was just given breakfast and um, I was given a bottle of water. I was given the two little stone jugs. There is, um, yeah, and I, I went to sleep and I passed out. I didn't do any work, nothing. I just was so tired. So here we are. Now I'm going to go and um, get ready for today. I have a real pain here in my neck. I think I figured out why this bag really sits here all the time. And you can see it here as well. Um, I'm going to switch sides for the bags, which I'm so used to having the phone on the left hand side, but it'll be on the right hand side now. I'll have to practice. Uh, the quickest route is 18 kilometers to um ask of all oh this is for the next video so thank you very much for being with me like um i made it to mineral and bani um i'm in the ego hotel and it's i just feel very touched i i can't i spoke spanish and italian <laughs> <laughs> my 20 words of Italian, my 20 words of Spanish. I'm just so grateful, like, <laughs> that I'm still here. <laughs> still here, still going. <laughs> okay, I'll see you in the next video. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.